What's going on guys? Today we've got a brand new tactic and this one is going to be for those who do enjoy a bit of possession. A little fun fact, this tactic actually picked up the highest level of possession I have personally ever posted on this channel. It absolutely cooks. Be sure to smash a like on the video and definitely subscribe. Let's get into it and talk about this tactic. So obviously created by none other than Nap, this tactic was designed to try and get the most possession you physically can inside a football manager. And today I've tested with all sorts of teams from Celtic right at the top all the way down to some really low division teams to see exactly how well this can do across the world. Let's get into the test and starting from worst to best today. Let's kick things off. So by far the hardest challenge is going to be Las Palmas, a team predicted to finish all the way down in 20th place where Celta Vigo come out. We did not win the league, obviously that was not to be expected, but we did get Champions League football and finish in a third place, which is really, really strong. Of course, you can see here, we did lose the old game, we actually lost eight games overall, but considering a team predicted 20th finished in third place, I'm going to take that any day of the week. Sandro picks up 22 goals, we've got a player inside at second, the highest average rating, also a second joint most assist as well. Clean sheets third place I'm going to take it any day of the week and I will say with a team like this the fact we're actually in fifth place is remarkable when it comes to possession I was not expecting to be anywhere near this sort of top five of a team like this you've got to understand the amount of teams in this league that play this possession-based football the fact we've outclassed some of them with a team like this is simply remarkable in terms of the most goals we're going to be the top goal scorers though which again is absolutely fantastic fewest conceded we're not going to be on there so defensively well to be fair clean sheets third place but fewest conceded we're not going to be on there clean sheets we are it's not the best defensive tactic of a team like this but you are going to outscore everyone and obviously eliminate any issues of actually not successing not getting any wins etc etc now of course we did play in a spanish cup that didn't go as well to be fair but overall a season with Las Palmas no signings of course as per that is absolutely incredible now the data hub we are going to go and have a little look it is going to be just over two goals a game at 2.05 1.47 conceded an 89% pass completion and just over 12 shots a game and I will be talking in the tactic breakdown how you can potentially lower the goals conceded per game as well with a couple of little tweaks I might suggest so do definitely stick around for that for the in-depth tactical breakdown but for a first season we're going to take it and we're going to run. One of the real star players was Alberto Malero. This guy genuinely picked up so many goals and they were from all sorts of different angles in the box. This is going to be a set of highlights, obviously away from home in a 3-0 win. And he simply was there. Every single time we would want him to do his job, he was in the right position. And the play that we actually provide to him, the service is unmatched. Up next is going to be Coventry, a team predicted, I believe, around the 12th place. So again, not a very strong team over in the Skybet Championship. We have come out and won the Skybet Championship, only losing three games. Picking up 107 points, Top goal scorer, first and third in the average rating, and two players inside the top three when it comes to assists. And on this occasion, Ben Wilson picking up 16 clean sheets, ranking him rank one out of everybody in the Skybet Championship. Now, if we look right now, we are going to be in possession-wise third place with a team that are predicted 12. So again, that is a ridiculous amount of the ball with a team that are not that high up in terms of the, the rankings, to put it bluntly. The fewest shots against coming in at 337. The most shots at over 660. We're going to have the most goals at 135 and the most points per game at 2.33. So it is a really convincing set of stats here. Even the possession, we're not rank one or rank two even, but we are outclassing some pretty big names in this division with a team like Coventry, to put it bluntly. And the real, real, real speciality, we got to the FA Cup final where unfortunately we did lose, but we took Manchester United to extra time with a team like this. Now that says a lot about a tactic. Now the data hub we are going to go and have a little look at, it's going to be 2.93 goals a game, 1.07 conceded, 14.5 shots a match, an 89% pass completion, and a 75% tackle win ratio. So on this occasion, we are very close to being under a goal conceded a game and very close to scoring three goals a game with Coventry. And this tactic, this game shows how good it is. I mean, we matched up against Arsenal, and I will be honest, we went 1-0 down inside of 14 minutes, but we somehow, with Coventry, found a way back to not only equalise, as you can see here through right, but we actually go on to get into that cup final, and we win the game in the 48th minute down the right hand side a bit of individual brilliance I mean that is incredible next up is going to be Bayer Leverkusen unfortunately didn't have a great Europa League final did they the other night but 
For us, we had a great time, obviously, winning the league as they did in real life. Boniface picked up 26 goals. We've got one, two plays inside of the top three of the average rating. Fringpong and Hoffman pick up first most joint assists, and we're going to pick up the most clean sheets as well. Picking up 88 points in the league with Bayern, not even close behind, only picking up 70. Now, going over to the stats, we are going to feature a lot of them possession-wise. 61% of the ball, a really good stat line, not far off Bayern Munich at all. Most goals, the fewest shots against, the most points per game, fewest conceded, and the most clean clean sheet so it just shows even when you start to play as a top four team that defensive back line really does perform well it's obviously the weaker teams you play with the more you are naturally going to concede and as you can see not even as a powerhouse team only 0.62 conceded over 2.6 goals a game over 14 and a half shots a great pass completion and a really tidy tackle win ratio this is what happens when we start to increase the standard of team we've not even seen the powerhouse yet of course, the rest of the Cups, unfortunately, we failed to win the Europa League, as they have done as well. We did go and win the Pockle against Hoffenheim in the final, in 3-0 fashion, so we're going to take it. It's going to be the double. That final looked a little bit like this. Of course, it is going to be 3-0. It was quite a comfortable final, but the play was absolutely fantastic. That was inside of four minutes there, by the way. So we got off to the Cup final pretty, pretty strong, and then 20 minutes later, we go and score, and we wrap it all up in 28 minutes play. Boniface back into Hoffman, through one-on-one, -on -one, slaps it past the keeper. Well, for the powerhouse of the video, that is going to be Celtic. Obviously, a very, very strong team over in Scotland. And this is absolutely remarkable. I mean, 37 wins, zero draws, and one loss. That is going to be against St. Johnston as well. So, Rangers didn't catch us off guard. Nobody did, apart from St. Johnston, who literally finished in eighth place. It is such a good season. You can see all of our players pretty much dominating the stat lines in the player stats. But the real standout is going to be 70% possession over everyone in the league. 70% percent is absolutely unheard of the fewest conceded the most clean sheets the most shots at over 700 the fewest shots at 212 the most goals at basically double of rangers and the most points per game at 2.92 this is what happens when you take this tactic and apply it to a top top team now it doesn't mean you have to play as a top team you could have a save with top top players and you would replicate this it is absolutely incredible of course we go on to win the scottish cup as well against livingston in a 6-0 final couldn't get the job done in the via play cup or the champ Champions League, but to be fair, we ain't going to beat PSG. They are a ridiculous team, but we'll take that any day of the week, and I'm pretty sure the Data Hub is going to look very nice as well. It does indeed. 3.84 goals per game, 0.45 conceded, over 18.4 shots a match, an 89% pass completion, and a 74% tackle win ratio. That doesn't need any more talking about. It's incredible. Of course, I will show that Scottish Cup final as it is going to be six goals, and it gives you a good indicator of where these goals come from, what the press is like, what the team is like, and how the sort of pass and play is done. And as you can see, the passing is usually made to look quite simple, but it is so effective. We can pass from anyone in three to four passes, as you've seen in that previous goal, and it was made to look so easy a great give and go there and something like that looks so basic but actually doing that in football takes a, a certain tactic and this is a certain tactic to get that done as you can see a great bit of play there from Ralston driving it back into the middle of the box Riley into Dazen to the left back there Bernabe back inside into the middle it's simple passing made to look simple but it's executed to the highest level of course, your favourite part of the video, the tactic breakdown. If you are enjoying yourselves, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy what I post on this channel, you can come and find me in the description where we post tactics and rebuilds daily. That is right, seven, I put five fingers there, seven videos a week. So you can come over and say hello as well. I love to talk to you guys in the comments over there. But let's go through and talk about this unique looking 41131 technically, or it can be classed as a 4231 with one deeper player and one pushed up. Now, the first thing I want to talk about, obviously, is going to be the player roles. We're going to go through the instructions. We'll then go through the team instructions, then I'll have a little bit at the end of the video what you could potentially change to concede a little bit less with the, with the sort of underdog teams. I will go over that. If you're interested, do stick around. So the goalkeeper is going to be a sweeper keeper on defend, on tackle harder. The fullback on the right is going to be set to attack on take more risks, shoot less often, stay wider and tackle harder. And that's going to be replicated for the left back as well. So nice and simple to copy exactly the same for the right and the left. We then have two ball playing defenders who are both going to be set to dribble more and tackle harder. We then introduce a DM into the mix on support on shoot more often i'm um, shoot not shoot less often not more often and tackle harder and i will say with this role here i would not change it because it needs to be in the team the dm just to clarify in case there was any confusion shoot less often and tackle harder is going to be the instructions a central midfield player comes in with a lot of instructions but as you know in this game when you have a central midfield player on support they literally have no instructions so that is why he is added 
take more risks, cross more often, dribble more, shoot less often, get further forwards, roam from position, move into the channels, and of course, tackle harder. A lot of instructions, it's almost a whole page there, but because they don't get assigned any, that is why there's so many there. The inside forward on the left is set to hold up ball, shoot less often, roam, sit narrower, and tackle harder. And on the right, it's going to be exactly the same. So nice and easy to copy for those of you that are willing to do so. In the midfield, is going to be the attacker midfield player on attack, on take more risks, hold up the ball, roam, move into the channels, and of course, tackle harder. And lastly, you can't really beat it. The advanced forward on attack simply set to tackle harder. To the team instructions, where it is going to be based off a tiki taka style on the positive mentality, we are going to go down to narrow. We're going to underlap left, underlap right, while focusing down the left and the right hand side. Playing out from the back is a big part of this tactic. Much shorter, a slightly lower tempo, be more disciplined, dribble less, work ball into the box. And obviously, the low cross is also coming into the equation. In transition, it's going to be set to counter press, counter distribute quickly and roll the ball out. This is really effective because it goes to obviously the center backs, the full backs and the playmakers in the midfield. And lastly, out of possession, we are going to go with the much higher defensive line, the high press and line of engagement, much more often prevent short goal of distribution, get stuck in, step up more, trap inside and invite crosses into the box. And that is going to complete for you the tactical breakdown. If you do wish to stay around 30 seconds of your time, we will talk about quickly how you can eliminate some of those goals as a smaller team. So the first thing to do would be to obviously lower this defensive line simply to higher. We completely eliminate a lot of those sort of balls in behind that we were conceding with the smaller teams and simply untick step up more. Don't have your line being too high up and committing because you are going to get caught out a lot when it comes to lower league football. But other than that, it worked like an absolute gem. So I would give it a go. And if you have enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Check out the other content me and Jake do provide and I'll see you in the next one.